Hello everyone, Mr. Power46 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Thimbleweed Park. It's been quite some time, and I can't remember where I was. But I think if I go here, I can do some stuff. Yes, I know, I'm very good at being descriptive. Very, very good. You're investigating here, too? I wouldn't go in there if I were you. Why is that? What do you mean? Why shouldn't I go in? Because you're probably superstitious and would believe all that claptrap about paranormal activity in the hotel. Paranormal? Really? That's terrible. How serious are the reports? Should I be worried? Uh, given that there's no such thing as ghosts, you'll be fine. Really? What are you doing here? Well, Chuck's brother Franklin went missing a few weeks ago. Is he the body by the bridge? Nope. But this reporter's know says there's something odd about the whole thing. I'm working up a story, but the only lead I have is someone seeing him here briefly a few weeks ago. And of course, now... He was seen around the lobby area. Then he well, just vanished. Be, of course. Anyway. Big day today. I'm meeting some promising investors. I know they'll believe in my plan to turn the dying pillow factory into a highly profitable stuffed toy factory. It can't fail. Just gotta check into a room without Chuck knowing about it. He has eyes and ears everywhere. I'll need a disguise. Also need to copy this prospectus so I can give it to the investors and keep my copy. So Ooh, now Chuck we've got wouldn't know some a good goals. idea if it hit him. Stuffed toys of the future. And we're playing as a different character. Why, hello, Mr. Edmund. We weren't expecting you in today. What can I do for you, Abu, sir? Do you have photocopying here? But of course we do, Abu. Abu, Abu, Abu. That is to say, we normally do, but uh, we've run out of paper. Unless I get more paper, Abu, I won't be able to help you out. And that's a problem. I'd like a private hotel room. What do you want a hotel room for, Mr. Edmund Abu? To, um, none of your business. I don't know why you'd want a room when Chuckaboo always has plenty of space for you in his penthouse suite. Oh, yeah. I guess so. How else may I be a boo of service? And yes, if you remember from... If you watched the video, earlier videos of this, yes, they used the same actor in a similar... Model. I'm going to go now. You didn't see the hotel Goodbye. manager as a nice the sheriff and I can't the talk to him like this. I have to put on a disguise to fool Chuck and his spies. So let's see. Let's see if I can remember what I need to do. Let's see if going up to 12 will work. Takes a little while. So I'm sorry it's been a while since it's locked. I've sh I've made videos and streamed. I just have t trouble getting myself motivated. Unfortunately. In fact, for a while, whenever I felt like I wanted motivation for streaming I actually bought my three months of my recording software XSplit it's a photo of a perfectly clean standard room it's a photo of a perfectly clean deluxe room I would buy three months of it and then do some videos and now I own a lifetime license so that's out of the question I don't know how much paper I need but I'm picking up as much as I can and yeah this is how you get it stuff for the prospectus
So yeah. Like I said, it's been a while, but hopefully that's not too much of a problem. I don't remember this door. Hmm. Weird. Anyway, that's beside the point. So let's see. The doors are closed. And of course I have to right click to open the elevator that way. So we need a disguise, huh? Well, if we go over here, there's someone who is hip for the time. Hello. Hello. Guess he can't hear me. He can't hear me, so... I'll just push this button here. Hey, dude. What's your damage? Yo, dude. What's that jacket you're wearing? The latest and greatest jacket. It zips in the front. Don't most jackets do that? <sighs> You're too old to understand. What's on your face? They're the latest and greatest nose glasses from the Jason the News Guy adventure game from Mucus Flem Games. With these on, no one knows who I am. What's on your feet? The latest and greatest Reeboks. I just got them. Aren't they rad? What's with all the latest and greatest? I'm not grody like you. Everyone knows that unless you've got the latest and greatest, you might as well barf. I'm not risking my reputation by touching anything that's not like the latest and greatest. What if I said you didn't have the latest and greatest stuff? <laughs> like barf me out. All my stuff is totally the latest and the greatest. Now, you're gonna have to. Your glasses bear in are not the latest and greatest. These glasses? Gotta be the latest and greatest, aren't they? Did something newer come out? <laughs> nah, you're wigging. I can't trust a dweeb like you. I would totally know what was the latest and greatest. Oh yeah? I bet you don't know anything yep, about what's the greatest right now in 1987. Prove you're not just an old dweeb from the 50s. Sure, I can prove it. I'm totally bodacious because I can talk like you and... And... Let's see. I believe I know this gnarly this. dude who was on MTV and tells me what's wicked and what'll gag me with a spoon. I think Whoa. that was correct. Yep. You're legit. I totally believe you know what's tight right now. When you got something new and sick, I'll trade you. Until then. I'm gonna rock out. Ah, oh, don't you just love this music? So, looking at the to-do list, I need to disguise the appearance, check into a hotel room, get more paper, and get a duplicate of the prospectus. And of course, to get the... So I've got paper. So, the disguise is of course the kid's glasses. I'm not sure you might be able to do the jacket and shoes. Guess he can't hear me. Okay, I'll just push like this button here. Stop. Hey, dude, what's your damage? That, but. Dude, check out this rad new pillow bear. It's righteous. Big time righteous. I'll do you a favor and trade you. You do that for me? Oh, sick. Who, what do you want to trade? For the I'll glasses. trade you the bear for your glasses. No faking. Gag me. Your glasses totally make you look like a dweeb. No, duh! Eh, take the glasses then. Something. Quick, before anyone notices I have them! First, here's my used gum for your collection. Uh, I don't have a gum collection. Uh, never mind that. Now give me that bear so I rock it out. Sure, er, dweeb dude, er, gnarlicious, er, I can't keep this okay. up. Let's get this over with. Here it is. Sweet! Your ace! Later, dude! And yes, now I have gum. Which is actually important. Now let's give 
Stationary to man. He's reporting my every move back to Chuck. Oh, yeah. I don't want to let him know what I'm up to. The hotel manager is right there. He's one of Chuck's. The doors are closed. Nobody can recognize me now with... Welcome to the Edmond Hotel, most beautiful hotel no aboo in the tri Thimbleweed who... Park County area. How may now. I be a boo of service? Who Franklin is. I'm going to look at my, I mean, your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Let's give stationery to him. Could you use this as photocopying paper? That should be all the paper, Abu, I need. What would you like to photocopy? This prospectus document. Of sure course. thing, Abu. Well, that's all I need. I'll be back in a jiffy, Abu. One task done. Now I should check into a room to prepare for the meeting. Welcome now, back to the Edmond Hotel. How meeting. may I be Abu of service? I'd like to check in. Okay, sir. What's your name, Abu, for the booking? Robert Palmer. Of course, Mr. Palmer. We have a lovely suite Abu for you on the 11th floor. Your suite has been fitted with the new state-of-the-art Abu oh. Hotel Tron 3000. It's such new technology, Abu, that we're still fitting out the rooms on the 10th floor. How else may I be Abu of service? Is there any surveillance in the hotel? No, certainly not, Mr. Palmer. Whoa, we have our state-of-the-art Abu Hotel Tron 3000 system, which creates a VHS video of your entire stay with us. Sounds like surveillance to me. How much, you ask? For just $19.99, you get a unique record of your trip highlights to share with friends Abu back home. It's such a new system that we're still installing it on the 10th Abu floor. Since you won't want to miss a second of your amazing Abu stay here, we recommend that guests do not visit the 10th floor. I'm going to look at my, I mean, so your that's beautiful a lobby. If he wants Goodbye. To, uh, Have a nice evening, Abu. Secret. So let's solve that. I think it's... I don't remember if he said it was deluxe or standard, but either way. Let's see. First, I'm gonna see what the room looks like because that's important. And of course, I click out of the window. Hello? Yes, only on Tuesdays. Yes. I'm almost ready for our meeting. I've just got to wrap up a couple more things. I'll call you back when I'm ready. Of course. What's that monstrosity? A Hoteltron. Chuck must have had them installed recently. I'll have to find a way to stop it recording my meeting. Because visuals are totally the whole problem. Actually, they might have been at the time. But I believe... It's a photo of a perfectly clean standard room. Let's pick up that. The doors are closed. Yeah, that's a obnoxious thing about this game. not too bad most of the time hopefully this is the right one waiting what was that I guess it was nothing looks like the Tron machines are working perfectly of course no that reaction perfect now Chuck will have no idea what I do in my meeting I'm finally ready for that meeting. Better give the investors a call to let them know they can come up. You can come up to my room now. I'm ready. Of course. 
Back to being plain old Franklin. That was quick. Oh, it's you. How did you know I was here? And now there might be a problem. Franklin was never seen again. I asked the sheriff for more information, but there was nothing. No body, no Franklin. Some of the more superstitious types claim he's haunting this hotel, but those of us dedicated to fact-finding know that must be poppycock. That's an interesting story. Thanks for all the information. See you later. If you find out anything publishable, stop by the nickel to let me know. Okay. Welcome to the Edmund Hotel. Most beautiful hotel abu in the tri thimbleweed Park County area. How may I be a boo of service? Do you know what happened to Franklin Edmund? Huh, I saw him, but I don't know abu what happened to him. Funny thing abu though. Go on. That same day, a man with a large nose, Abu, checked in and then disappeared. You of don't course. say. That is an odd arena coincidence. What room did he check into? Oh, let me see, Abu, now. It was a Mr. Robert Palmer. Yes. He checked into a room, Abu, on the 11th floor. I'd like that room key for our investigation. I'm not sure I should do that without a warrant, Abu. But since there's nothing to see there, I suppose, Abu, I can give it to you. Thank you. Finally. How else may I be Abu of service? You look awfully familiar. Have we met before? I don't believe Abu so. Well, there you go. I'm going to check out your beautiful lobby. Goodbye. Have a nice evening, Abu. Okay, so... I think that should be the end of whatever episode this is. I don't remember. Like I said, it's been a while. It's been a while. So until next time, have fun. Don't go too crazy. Goodbye.